Quando Rondo agrees to end beef with Lil Dirk. Yeah, look, they both Muslim, Islam. They took the Shahadas, you know what I mean? So they really into their faith. Well, you know, one of the elder spokesmen of the Islam culture, I don't know how to say that, bro, but yeah, one, they approached him like, bro, since y'all brothers now, would you bury that hatchet? Reluctantly, um, Wanda Rondo looked, and looked, looked around and yeah, 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 I bear it. I think that's all bullshit, bro. I think it's too much bloodshed that didn't happen. It's not, you can never trust the other side, whether it, look, your faith ain't strong enough, young nigga. Let's just be honest, bro. Let's just be real, bro. I'm just being honest. Never gonna happen. Slim Jimmy throwing shots at Hurricane Chris. Look, he threatened to slap the a Bay Bay out of Chris. Yeah, he was looking at, uh, K-Dot was picked for the Super Bowl. Hurricane Chris, like, bro, I told y'all so. Slim Jimmy, like, man, you still talking about that nigga? <laughs> Look, Hurricane Chris say, man, stay in your motherfucking place. If this ain't your business, bro, don't jump in it unless you're trying to catch these hands. Look, Slim Jimmy say, boy, I slapped the baby out of you. you hey, Slim Jimmy, bro, chill out. Chill out, bro. Now, we gonna be honest. Like, when we talking about them hands, down south, like they, we, we really known for that, bro. Slim Jimmy, like a, a buck ten, bro. Let's just be honest, bro. Let's just be real. Seeing Slim Jimmy slap somebody with them little tight pants on, it just be more hilarious than anything. Slim Jimmy, stop it. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, just stop it, nigga, because that ain't no win for you, bro. Looking tough, dude. You're better off doing the mannequin challenge, nigga. At least then a nigga know you don't mean no harm and a nigga ain't gonna fuck with you. Let's just be honest, bro. Let's just be real. What's Slim Jimmy from? Drop it in the comments. Now, I don't even know. But everybody know he's been a pussy. Been a pussy. You know, him and the other little nigga. What the other little nigga? I forgot his name. He's a nobody. But race rumors. You know what I mean? Drummers here, bro. They ain't shit. <laughs> Let's just be honest. If it's him versus Hurricane Chris, bro, I got Hurricane Chris for a minute. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. Tory Lanez provided 472 inmates with legal representation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, he, he doing his 10 years right. On top of that, they just crashed his cell, bro. They took all the music equipment. They say it ain't about the equipment and him streaming on Spotify playlist despite being locked in a cell. It ain't about that. It's about the fact that so many people are getting encouraged and motivated off this music. They had to stop it, you know what I mean? Bro, five, almost 500 people, he's helped get legal representation while he's in there, bro. You don't hear about celebrities actually using their time like that. You hear about them like, um, tucking to the back, or like DeAndre Barnes, do your shit, you know what I mean? They're taking all this shit, uh, because he wanted to sell red barns, you know? <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, so, yeah. Well, Tory Lane's doing some big shit, bro. But, yeah, he's doing 10 years right now with his involvement in the mix shooting. He said he's totally innocent. I guess we're going to figure that out soon. It's supposed to be some uh, exculpatory evidence that's supposed to be coming out. But I ain't seen it yet, bro. I'm going to be honest. I ain't seen it yet. By the time that shit come out, the man will be almost home bro let's just be honest let's just be real but shout out toy lane bro i got to see it but shout out mega stallion too man i i choose no sides blue face goes from jail to prison finally he's left the county and he's going to prison he's serving a four-year sentence for a probation violation uh four years one year credit for time served and he only got to do 33 percent he'll be out by next year bro Look, this man ain't got his weight up. He went from 130 to about 180, bro. On top of that, he got he he, he taking in his African roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The just for me has sweated out. The curls are no mas. Yeah, yeah, no mas curls. The motherfucker got nigga hair. You know what I mean? We didn't even know. I thought he was biracial or something, bro. This bro, hey, this dude here, pure African. You can tell by the head, bro. Like. No diddy you can tell by that nigga have, bro. Like, he, yeah, that motherfucker, he got African culture. Yeah, he African culture for sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out Blueface, man. Soldier Boy waiting on you, bro. So whenever you get out, y'all got a fade. Y'all supposed to link up. So don't forget about that, Soldier. And don't be scared of the weight gain. NBA young boy sentenced to 27 months in prison. 27 months and five years probation, one year time served. 
Uh, look, he be out next year, bro. Look, YB got nine lives. Everybody thought it was over for YB, but he getting another chance. If you anything like WAC 100, you think this boy is snitching because he didn't even get the mandatory minimum. He got under that. They say that's what that money do. A lot of people say that ain't what that money do. Well, look, I ain't going to drag YB. You know what I mean? Look, control garden coming home. You know what I mean? Hey, he'll take all your grievances once he gets here, bro. Just save him, you know what I mean? And keep that energy, you know what I mean? You think the boy is snitching, you think he's a rat? I don't think why be red. you know what I mean? I know for a fact why be ain't ratting. But if you think that's what it is, keep that energy when he come home, bro. Holler at YB, you dig? I don't even think he gonna be on house arrest. He's five years probation, he ain't trying to get in no trouble. But, you know, he'll give you the lashing that you need, bro. Ask for what you want, you shall receive. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, YB. He'd be out next year. Yeah, shout out NBA young boy, man. Jay-Z co-hosting a $250,000 blackjack tournament. And he doing this with Michael Rubin. You know, the one to be hugged up on all the rappers and kissing Meek Mills on the neck and see what. They hosting a tournament, bro. It's 250 k to get in. That mean if you can't pay, you can't play. Yeah, yeah, with all this shit going on with the Super Bowl, you think Jay-Z would be handling that, but... He got high stakes shit going on, bro, and I can't knock him. That ain't house nigga teams, I don't believe. I think this is rich nigga team. The, the man just playing the game on this one, so you can't sit back and judge everything, bro. At some point, you got to have fun. If I had the uh, the fee to get in, I'd go in there and take everybody money because I'm a hell of a blackjack player. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. I can make the card add up to 21 like that, you know what I mean, let's just be real, bro, tricks all in the hats, but, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he hosting a tournament, bro, uh, the man deserves to have fun, if that's how he chooses to spend his billion dollars, or however much he got, that's how he chooses to spend it, I can't spend it with him, don't watch my pockets, I won't watch yours, you dig? Cuba Gooden Jr. on the run from Diddy lawsuit, yeah, look, Lil Rod mentioned him in the lawsuit, uh, what is it, uh, I forget how much money he asking for, but they trying to serve Cuba Gooden Jr. papers, and they can't, they, look, they can't catch up with him. He's been living out of hotels. He's been on the run. Bro, he's played this character in so many movies, bro. He know how to do it, and Lil Rod just asked for 60-day extension so they could find him. You're not going to find Cuba Gooden Jr., bro. You can't find somebody that don't want to be found. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, do I think Cuba was sucking Diddy off? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Because, hey, I can see it in him. You know what I mean? But when he talk about it, I can believe he didn't. But I don't know, bro. But I can only tell you that if you looking for Cuba Gooden Jr., hey, check check back in 60 days, bro. Because within these next 60, you ain't going to be able to catch up with this man. Yeah, catch him if you can, nigga. Cuba on the run. Kendrick Lamar would not perform Not Like Us at the Super Bowl. Look, that song been going bananas. It's kind of slowing down now, but you got to admit it's been a, a thing for people. They want to see that at the Super Bowl, bro. It's not going to be in Atlanta. It's going to be in New Orleans. But he ain't going to be able to do that, bro. Why? You can't go on that and call Drake a national pedoph uh, pedophile on national TV, bro. It's not going to happen. Uh, this song... I don't think that ever happened, bro. So let's just be honest. He's going to do some old classics, and it's going to be a nice show, but you're going to have to get used to him. We're going to be all right again. You know what I mean? Don't think you're going to hear that not like us and everybody going to be up there sea walking. Or if you do, it's going to be heavily redacted. You know what I mean? Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, bro. They better off putting Wayne up there and letting Wayne. It's Wayne's world, bro. Putting Wayne up there and letting Wayne do what he do. I heard somebody say Kendrick Lamar got a better discography than Wayne. Bro, he don't got better tracks than Wayne or a better record. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. But we ain't going to pit these dudes against each other because uh, even k Dot hold Wayne up here, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. Drop it in the comments, man. WAC 100 was nearly robbed in L.A. Yeah, uh, they caught him coming out with bags. He said he was ready to give it up, the, the chain, the whole whack ring. 
it's better to just give it up. Don't lose your life behind it. Most people got insurance on it anyway. If you don't got insurance on your jewelry, that shit fugazi. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, get that shit up. But he say, look, ordained ministers start busting for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, busting for him, and they end up running. He say he was shocked. You know what I mean? They almost got him, but they didn't. You know what I mean? They had to drop on him. They, he could have been got, but they didn't. On top of that, when he start running. His chick pulled out her little weapon she had hosted because they just went to a Halloween party and she started <laughs> letting it fire. So he didn't have to do nothing. He just sat there and looked like, oh shit, I'm amazed. You know what I mean? I don't know how they talking. You know, be talking all weird, like all white bread in California sometimes. But yeah, yeah. he was amazed because she started busting at it. But yeah, he wasn't Jack, but. He was nearly robbed. So that just shows you, bro. In California, it ain't just for the tourists. They trying to get anybody that got a little money out there. Yeah, Beverly Hills ain't Beverly Hills no more. So you know what I mean? Being real, bro. Let's just be honest. It goes down on fat facts. It ain't just all uh, roses and nah, hell nah, bro. You you be sleeping. You be look, man. You be sleeping in Beverly Hills and think you in the nicest place ever. And, and, and shots get the ring and I, and you hear this on the news and emergency broadcast, bro. Shit is like, uh, it's destruction out there, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. If you haven't been to California, drop it in the comments, man. But uh, yeah, it, it, it get crazy out there, bro. LBG Butter was held by the dreads and punched repeatedly in his eyes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, in his eyes. <laughs> And both of them, bro. Yeah, they held him by the dreads and repeatedly, bop, 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 bop. It, it wasn't nothing but eye shots. Now the man say, you know, he took a picture, eyes all beat to shit, but he said it was just an allergic reaction because they fried his chicken and fish grease and he ended up touching his eyes. You know what I mean? He touched one of them, touched both of them, rubbed them under some $1,500 Gucci glasses. Bro, it was bullshit. You know what I mean? I'll call Cap on that story. You know what I mean? Bro, a blind man could tell you got your ass whooped, you know what I mean? That them eyes been beat up, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you got your ass whooped, you know what I mean? Come on, we all can see it, bro. Let's just, you got to be a man about it, bro, and just admit what didn't happen to you that, hey, you've been victimized, you know what I mean? Again, you know what I mean? You've been victimized. FBG Butter, let's just be real, let's just be honest, man. Sometimes you got to do that as you start growing up, bro. You'll learn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. You'll learn. If they throw it, I'ma catch it. I play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap. People tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours. Summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chili. Gotta be a five